Alright, so today we're doing Genji, um, basically ignore the passion, I'll talk a little bit about your soldier, and Doom probably, um, but anyway, let's just get into this. So I actually, oh, I kinda want you to press touchpad. Oh, you did there for a second. Ah, oh, perfect, I'm so good. Okay, so, one thing to think about while you're just just in game in general right like obviously we we have set comps as a team to play right but those are just base comps you guys can go to you guys are always free to switch right um so you know as, like don't just pick a hero you usually play on a map right i mean yeah you can right but it's better to work with your team in ranked than to just work against them and so, like, ask yourself the question, you know, what is Genji doing in this comp, right? To me, perfectly fine idea. Uh, you could have maybe asked for a Brig and an Ana, or if you really wanted to. Um, Nanoblade is kind of strong, but it's easily counterable. Um, double Shield's fine. Genji Double Shield, I mean, it, it's perfectly fine. But, you know, just make sure you think about why you're picking a hero. Don't just pick the hero to pick the hero, you know? What the fuck is that crosshair? It's kind of poop. I can lie. <clears throat> Off the bat, I already love how you're taking this left siding on the flank. Because you standing up here, right? You're able to see this, this flank route. And you can see the entire point, right? From just standing right here. So, honestly, perfect positioning right here. I, I would do this every time. You lose who comes to help. You grab the mini. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we hear the May Icicle, probably. So we know they have a May. So we know we can't just be playing really close all the time, right? That Echo was a free kill. You easily could have dashed into her, shot, shot, you would have got the dash reset, right? Easy kill right there. Take opportunities when you have them, right? Um. Still really good positioning. Like, like, this this is beautiful. You just standing right here. Oh, you just standing like right here, right? It forces the team, the enemy team, to either take this fight, right, and have you just lay into them, right, or they have to turn around and deal with you, right. So you're basically putting the team in a position where they have to pick a fight, right. So they either fight the team or they deal with you. They can't do both at once, unless the May walls you off. Okay, that's exactly what happened, right? Your team got a pick. Their Ryan went in too far. The May, she was worried about you, so she just shot at you, right? And all, that damage that went on to you wasn't going on to your team. It, it's perfect. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Nice dash there, right? You dashed in, right? You knew you could get the kill. Usually, you want to use dash like when they're at 50 HP, so you just instantly get the dash reset. But if you know you're going to kill them anyways, you might as well just dash them for the extra damage and quicker um, elimination, right? So that that's perfect. Nice. She got brick packed. So like look at this. They lost they lost one and you guys lost I think one to the May, right? So that's a five V five, right? Now you as a flanker, you're pulling these people's attention onto you, right? So now it's become a three V five I can't count. 3v5 on the front line, right? They don't have one healer, and they don't have big damage up front. They have a Mei, and their other healer is, uh, I don't actually know. That, whatever. But still, that, that's right here, this is what you want as a flanker, right? Like, you I mean, yes, you're taking a 1v2, which is totally winnable, right? But you're pulling these, this attention away from your team. So they're, th this is your fight, right? You guys win this. If you don't, I'll be surprised. Hmm. Like, look at this, you're just stalling them out back here. Briggs won. 
perfect use of deflect there, right? Always be using deflect to get out of fight and get easy poke damage on the enemy team with deflect. You know, the deflect fire strike, more orbs, stuff like that. But using it to get out is a huge fucking thing, right? You got healed. Kind of risky to go in there, but whatever. Like, do you see what happened? You guys won the fight because of you. Hmm. Nice job targeting squishies. And you're just harassing this Echo the entire fight. Dash. Oh, that's unlucky. You know she used beam, so you can go aggressive. Nice. Easy. Hmm. Perfect. That that was honestly perfectly played, in my in my mind. That that was perfect. Now you should be poking. Yep, for the rest of your blade. Hmm. And a thing with Genji, right? Once you get blade, right? Stop. You don't need to poke anymore because all you're doing is feeding them alt charge for their healer, right? So when you get alt, you might as well just not poke anymore and use your alt. I mean, still poking is nice, but you're just feeding them ult charge. Mm -hmm. I, I really like the side angle, though. Like, I mean, let me back up like one second. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This Ryan, he knows you're here, and he's about to position his shield like this, right? Because you're on this angle. Like, th this is beautiful right now. Oh. Now you have blade. Let's see what you do with it. I'm I'm sure you'll use it. Nice job backing up the May. You're Oh yeah. Perfectly played. You're probably gonna lose this fight, but that was perfectly played by your part. That's that's a little weird. I would just get out here. Oh? No fucking way, dude. Now I'd get out. Now I'd get out. Still, though, I think it was the 2v, like, 4 on the point, and three people came after you. No, there's no way. You killed me. So there's... Half, half of their team were on you, right? So it was a 3v whatever on point anyway. So your team actually had a great chance of winning that fight. Good job not pulling blade. Um, you probably could have turned the fight if you pulled blade, but it's better to, I mean, it's honestly better to use it, but I can see why you didn't. Mm. Nice job telling them to group up. <clears throat> Perfect job, right? You, you're not going in. You're not poking. You're you're unable to be poked from here. I mean, they can see you from fucking here, so maybe standing like here would be better, or you could even push up and stand behind this wall right here. Um, that's risky though, cause they could push on and kill you. Um, beautiful. Mm. Let me lose your speed. Mm. Just keep in mind, right? We don't need to poke. We have blade. So any damage we're doing to them, we're just feeding them their healer stats and alt perch. My voice just cracked two fucking sentences in a row. Okay, so why do we go in here, right? Somebody just switched to a hero. So they're still in spawn, right? And Lucio and you, and I think at least two others are right here, right? You guys are about to go into the fight without without one of your healers, right? This is almost a lost fight, especially if you guys engage right now. I stop playing the flank. The fuck? Honestly, you already won the fight, but if you do that and you don't kill them, you might as well just stop looking for them and focus on the people on point. I right, stop focusing the mercy down first. Dash. Nice. Nice. Okay, we, we should definitely be using Blade this fight, right? Because we have we could have used it like two fights ago, and we could have already had another Blade, but we're holding on to it. 
So just make sure to be using alt more. <clears throat> like on that lot, like on that lost, on that lost fight, right? That you lost, I think two fights ago. You could have turned it with blade. Um, it's risky, yes, but if you go, like, you'll never know if you don't go for this place, right? So you might as well go for that play because you can always build up another alt. Mm -hmm. Getting the echo. Oh, that echo fucked up. But like right now, duel her ass. She doesn't have beam. I would not be running. I wouldn't be scared of her. She doesn't have beam. Good deflect. And you hit her with her own stickies. I would just go back up there and kill her. Okay, we pull blade. Um... I wouldn't have pulled blade here. I I know I just said you you know you might as well use an alt, but like don't use an alt on a fight you already won, right? Hmm. Eh, it was last fight anyways. Never mind. Hmm. You might as well use it and guarantee the win. Nice. Overall, you played that round. Almost flawlessly. Just minor mistake. And things you could improve on more. Playing Kenji again. I wonder why we switch off Kenji. Nice, we for our team. Instantly going on it. Okay. We don't need to take this long flank around, right? Because right now it's a 5v6. Right now, right over here is 5v6. At right now. So you could just went main, right? And you could have let, let me just back it up just a fucking second. You could have went right here and played this behind them because if they push this way right you're on this short flank that took way less time than going over here right and then you can just lay damage into them from behind them so passing make sure you're taking efficient flank routes not absurd flank routes that you don't actually need to take <clears throat> like Right now, you probably could have been at like 20% alt. I like how you're playing the flank behind them. Ooh. Okay. A, oh. Wait. Okay. A better Reinhardt would have killed you right there. Right? Like, we used dash to engage onto him. We, we're not going to get the kill onto him. He got the health pack, right? And we're in this small ass room. It's fucking perfect that you just went out and got out, right? But a better Ryan won't miss those swings. And look at this. You distracted the Reinhardt the entire fight, so you guys just won the fight for free. Oh, killer. What? Hmm. Now get into a good position. Hmm. I was just thinking this spot. Alright, you're poking them down, you're poking them down. So, right, we are, we know, well, if you don't know, right, if you don't see anybody here, right, they're obviously going somewhere else. So, Instead of just standing up here and waiting, and waiting basically for them to reposition behind you, why not just push up into this little choke, go behind them, quick? It's all about timing, right? So, like, if you, basically, if you take this flank route too early, they peel you out quick, right? But, if you're standing here, you can't even take this flank route because by the time you get here, they're already on point and your team's dead, right? That's where flanks become um, useless, is when your timing's off, and they don't, you actually don't distract anything, and they just roll your team, right? 
Yeah, we should already know they're here. We sh we should have rotated. Oh fuck, we should have rotated quick. Because what does what does poking shield do? Not much. Ooh. Oh, your team got picks. Yep. This high ground isn't a bad idea, Genji. Um, we just need to make sure we listen. And just imagine if you were behind them that fight, you wouldn't have died. Not to me. You team got some picks, but it doesn't matter. Hang on, I need to get a drink. Okay, got my drink. Like right now, instead of just waiting to spawn, we can be up on this high ground here, just poking if they're in choke. Because <clears throat> we don't even know if they're in choke. Because we're standing behind this. Remember, we're... I, I'm pretty sure you try to fire... Uh, just like the fire strike. <clears throat> Make sure you're using this for escape, right? And always using it when you know you can deflect something, right? So just walking up this wall, you don't know if you can actually deflect something, right? But say you're standing like right here on that little flank route and they throw something at you, boom, you know you can deflect that, right? So don't just waste cooldowns. I'm not sure if you can calm yet, but you could have calmed that may behind the wall. Like, hey guys, there's a may behind the wall. Main. I, I like the aggressive use of dash because you probably thought you could kill him. You just got bubbled. Unlucky. Also, we should be telling our team. Hey, you know, let's not push them. Not let's not push in. We only have five, right? We should wait till we have six to go in, because you guys will lose this fight. I like this flank route. I don't like blade here, right? We can win this fight with alts, right? They popped rally though, right? And they both and they had bubbles up, right? So. A thing about Genji alt, right, you should be waiting until they use cooldowns that counter your blade to alt, right? If they never use them, you might as well just use it. Because obviously they're waiting for you to use blade. Um, but like Brig Rally, you're never, you're never going to kill anything with blade. Unless you're nano, which you might. It's good target focus on the Brig. They had all the cooldowns. So just, just make sure their weight abilities out to counter your blade and then you blade. And then we switch to soldier. So I'm assuming we should switch to soldier because they have a Farah and you think she's fucking your ass up, right? You can basically do the same thing that their Farah is doing, right? As Genji and just be behind them poking and poking and poking they're gonna be forced to come to you right so I understand the switch soldier alone will not kill Apara like even if you have godly aim she can just position herself better you either need to ignore the far work as a team to counter the far um, or you just lose or you pop off with your crack game, right? And kill her every fight. Now, soldiers kind of... You can be flanky on soldier. You can play maintenance soldier. You don't really want to be shooting shields as soldier. Holy shit. That is like a tongue twister. Shields as soldier. That is fucked. I like that we're poking right here. Why did we use... Healing station when then the spawns right behind us and Mega's behind us and we have healers. Right? You're not even taking any more poke. You should just take the Mega, go into spawner, get healed. 
Mm. Now it's on 10 second cooldown. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't mind this. You, I mean, you're taking a 1v1. It's a 5v6. They lost a shit ton of damage. Uh, the Ryan popped off. Just, just get out. You don't. If you kill the far, it won't matter. She'll be back before the next fight starts. Why are we engaging? We're, we're, we're one v fiving now, right? I, I understand. Point is a. Oh my god, what the, dude? I don't care. I understand. Point's about to be capped. It's at eighty-seven. You still have plenty of time. We popped heal station. Nice job getting back to your team. Oh. Imagine if we had heal station. I don't really know why you spammed. I need healing. Um, it's basically a stall fight, and you have Lucy wheels. Because everybody else died. Nice target focus on the healers. Nice job stalling, honestly. Perfect. Damn. <clears throat> so now we go Doomfist, right? You could just stage Soldier. This is an awesome Soldier map. You can take this left side. Actually, I'm going to wait till you look up because it's kind of confusing. Hmm. I, think I think this is right side. So you can take, okay, whatever. You can take the jump pad, right? And you can sit up on that high ground and just fire into them from high ground when they're all on point, right? You have free sights on the far, right? So if you're worried about countering her, I'm sure you could hit the shots. Um, Doomfist is, on this map, he can be good, right? There, there's high ground for him to play on. There's walls for you to punch into. It's kind of close, but it's kind of spread open, right? So I don't really understand the Doom pick. Also, just make sure you're picking heroes that help your team, not just heroes you play on that map, right? Think about, I mean, look, if Doom helps your team, he'll heal here, play Doom, right? But if he doesn't, then why play Doom? Oh, you, you want to play Doom? Well, then you might lose because your team doesn't, can't support you on Doomfist, right? Also, you have Lucas in heals, so that kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Good. Look at this, your team switched to Brawl, basically, so this is a fine pick. Heals are low, but if you play it smart and you don't take poke before the fight starts, you should be fine. I'm assuming you know Doom Tech, right? So when you punch, you press punch and jump basically at the same time. And at the end, you'll like fly forward. I'm pretty sure that's what you're trying to do. Um, nice job waiting for your team. That's a nice e. nice punch out. You're in, you're out. Okay. <clears throat> so we get slam, right? Why do we slam here, right? This is a free punch right here. This or this? They're both, free. you have punch too. This is a free punch. Right there, boom, dead. Then you can E onto her, uppercut her, shoot her once, she's dead. You turn the fight. But we, but we E. Also, we need to bully this Ryan. He's tearing your team apart. Especially when someone's giving you problems, just focus them out. Okay, you have even less heals now. Because Mercy's going to be on the far the whole time. Kind of sucks. And you told me not to worry about the Bastion, so when you switch to Bastion, I'm probably going to stop watching the VOD. 
because Basham's Dookie. So I don't know if you heard that, right? Listen closely. Actually, I hope you can hear the damn sound. If you can't, oops. Did you hear it? Right? I'll back it up one more time. Right there, right? I don't know if you heard it, right? I'll tell you. It's the Maywall. You can hear her pre-use it. Oop, right there. Sound cues and overwatch are huge, right? So taking this punch is risky as shit because May's right here. And and you should know that, right? I mean if you're if you have the sound cues and your sounds up, right? Too bad I didn't say like May charging May wall or some shit, right? Cause the enemy team, if they have subtitles on, they see this. So they know you're about to rocket punch. And punching here is risky because they're just gonna wall you off. You get walled. You uppercut. But we used every cooldown we had and died. Uh, your team can't heal you behind a wall. And you have Mercy Lucio. Here we go, Bastion. Tell me not to worry about Bastion. I'm just gonna skim through it and see if you switch off Bastion ever. No, we don't. Do we win? No, we we lose. Okay. He's coming to worry about Bastion, so we're not worrying about Bastion. So Genji, right? G is for Genji. D is for Doomfist. Um, I'm not really going to worry about Soldier either because you played him for like 30% of a round, right? So things to work on on Genji. Your Genji was really good. I don't know why you switched off, honestly. Like, the fire was giving you troubles. You can give the enemy team troubles just as much. And you did, especially the first round, right? They did. They couldn't deal with you. So, things to work on on Genji. Blade, right? B is for Blade. Um, make sure to get cooldowns out of the enemy team before you engage with Blade, right? Because otherwise you're just going to waste the Blade. So, bubbles, make, like, look. Oh, Zarya is personal. Oh, she's friendly. I'm going into the Dragon Blade. Fucking Eugene on Kaioken. Whole team dead, right? Brig rallies, you wait it out. It, I mean, it, you, you wait that shit out. You, you will not kill through Brig Rally. So, if they Brig Rally, you just don't ult. If they have support alts, focus those supports down first, and they'll either be forced to use it, because if they don't, they die, and then they can't, they can't use the alt anyways, and then you just kill the team with Blade, right? Um... Or you wait till they just use it for whatever purpose they needed to use it for, right? And then you have a free blade. So make sure to get abilities out before you blade. Um, your flanks were perfect. Your angles were fucking nice. Um, mechanics, they're there. Just more, put more time into Genshin. You'll be fucking nice as shit. Um, make sure we're deflecting. I'll put, I'll put D for deflect. I'll put D E for deflect. Make sure we're deflecting stuff. We know we can deflect. Using deflect to get out. Majority of the time. Using it for reversing poke op back onto them. Like fire strikes, damage orbs, Zarya bubbles even. Um, things like that. Besides that, your Genji was really fucking good. I mean, yeah. Just poke from behind. Make them look at you. Make them fight you. Right? That's your job as a flanker. You you make them deal with you. And then your team gets a free fight win, basically. Um, Doomfist. There wasn't too much Doomfist, honestly. Um, and you kind of got pooped on. But, I would use cooldowns. First off, use cooldowns that you know you can hit, right? So, like, using E back on that one fight where you were on point. That's fine, right? But, it didn't guarantee anything. That punch would have guaranteed a kill, right? So just make sure to be using your abilities in a way that always gets you value, right? Um, you didn't do them all, so there's nothing to really talk about doom all. Um, you cycled your abilities quite well the first fight you were in. Um, especially in like a brawl comp, make sure as Doomfist you're brawling the enemy tanks, you're beating the shit out of them. Um, 
that Reinhardt really gave your team trouble. So I think bowling him would have probably won you the game. Um, I think that's about it, honestly. It was a really good VOD. Um, small thing, small mistake. Should have stayed on Genji. You probably would have won. Um, I mean, fuck their team comp. They played May. Fuck them. Then they played Briggs. So fuck them. Um, yeah. So work on those things. Soldier. I mean, he's not really meta. If you were gonna pick a hit scan, I would have just picked Ash, honestly, to deal with Far. Much easier to kill her. Um, or McCree, because then you can you can fight the front line as well as deal with the Far, right? Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have. Uh, thanks for the VOD, and uh, hope you learned something.